Bruce Campbell, Vice President of Design. So Bruce, we were uh, at the Nissan Maxima event uh, today, and right in back of you is the new 2009 Nissan Maxima. Tell us what the design was for this, what, what went into it? Well, the Maxima for us has got a long, very rich and deep history. We wanted to honor that. And uh, that's one of the main objectives. The other one was really, we started this design before the, uh, the current Ultima was finished. So we knew we had a big challenge to make it different. It's basically the same package. It's still going to be a little smaller. And the architecture is a little bit smaller from the Ultima. So, but we wanted to create a very unique uh, car that honored the Maxima heritage and to make something very with an attitude, uh, a very, uh, very powerful attitude. Because this is you know, one of our icons. Uh, and again, it's got a long history. And we wanted to create a design that uh, was iconic, very memorable, um, and with exterior forms. I, I like to say something you'd like to wash on Sundays. It, it has this sinuous feeling. So, but it's controlled also. It's not a. It's not a overtly styled car. It doesn't have a lot of character lines that are out of control. Everything's very tight control. The, the headlights. They really are very noticeable. They, they look aggressive to me, um, and, and they slant in, uh, sort of sports car-like. But again, I think the idea of, of doing a design that every element has a place, and it's in concert with the forms, down to the details of the headlights. Uh, they should be iconic, memorable, and uh, again, have this character uh, that would be in concert with the rest of the exterior design. Is Nissan going completely sports car? No, of course not. <laughs> but it's an important element of having this idea of a vehicle that's fun to drive, uh, good performance, in this case, probably great performance. So there's a, a thread uh, that weaves through this of performance. Mm -hmm. What's the other thread in design that you're looking for on a DNA for Nissan? I think um, that's good. It's, most of Mr. Nissan Mr. products like should have a character, a high character. I think that's our advantage. Uh, design is really our advantage, and we're, we're trying to leverage that as much as we can. We don't want to do things that stand out to be not desirable, but we want to do outstanding design. So in other words, we're going to do cars that, uh, and design cars that uh, really can tell a very good story about each one. Uh, it has some characteristic that um, will stand apart from the rest of the crowd. That's our, our strength, and uh, along with the quality built car, high performance, and good performance cars, and this we stand out with uh, unique and uh, hopefully highly desirable design. You wanted to differentiate yourself between the Nissan Altima and the Nissan Maxima, but what would be the commonalities between the Nissan GTR and the Nissan Maxima? Well. I think the GTR is, it's, ironically, is it has, in my mind, a lot of characteristics. The GTR is basically, uh, it's, it's still a very roomy, comfortable car, but there's nothing, no car that drives like that in the world. It's it's a 100% performance. But, but on it, a design side? But on the design side, I think, again, the GTR is a very special, unique uh, car. It had a very long heritage. Uh, really driven from uh, the Japanese uh, marketplace that it's really lived all its life. Um, it, it has this kind of a heritage that it's a sedan at heart. Uh, oddly enough, it's not a sports car. It's a sedan at heart, and that's where its heritage is. So the current design of the GTR is, I think, for me, a little bit sedan-like. It, it, it has uh, planes that... Uh, a remnants of a sedan, but a very powerful one. And then again, the Maxima has to serve as a sedan. And yet you are, have it as a sports car sedan. Right, right. Uh, maybe the biggest differentiator for an example would be the Z. The Z is a pure sports car. And, uh, and it's quite a bit different in character from the GTR or Maxima. But there is this threat of, there's some very unique uh, almost quirkiness to even cars like the GTR. For instance, uh, the roof, uh, the C pillar, uh, the rear pillar, has this odd little kink to it. We, we had a line that was very straight and, and continuous, and 
it didn't have this unique, iconic, memorable, almost quirky. So we try to apply that to a little bit of that quirkiness, wittiness to most of our designs. All right, Bruce, thank you. Okay.